What's up, everybody? This is Jacob from over here at Tines of CNC. This is our Boombastic 2021 here in Flower Mound, Texas. And this is The Beat with Fanic. And my buddy, Matt, from over at Fanic is helping me out today. We're going to be showing you a really cool feature and a program we put together on the CRX. Took no time at all. So what do you got for him, Matt? Hey, thank you, Jacob. Uh, yeah, I'm Matt Gressens. I'm with Fanic Robotics. Uh, right now, we have the Fanic CRX 10 IAL. This is a collaborative robot, which means you don't need any fencing around it or any safety features because if it runs into you, it's not going to hurt you. It's just going to stop. Today, we're trying to figure out the best way to present raw parts to the conveyor belt to go into the robo drill machine. This robot has a 10 kg payload and also has a 1.4 meter reach. Uh, so it's plenty of reach for this and plenty of payload. Uh, one thing that makes this really easy is we can move it around on a mobile cart. It's lightweight, so you can actually pick it up yourself if needed to be, but you can move it around from machine to machine if needed. So right now, I think we should just start programming it and show how easy it is to program the robots. One key feature about this robot is it has a flip under motion which means that it can work behind itself. It does not need to rotate on the bottom axis to work behind it, so that saves cycle time. The cool thing about having Matt here from over here at Fanic, with all of our sponsors, you know that support is gonna be amazing, and he came in 20 minutes before the end of the day yesterday. We were talking, and we got this set up in that time. We're gonna be doing it live for you guys just to show you how easy it is in your own workshop. And I know you guys saw it last week, those amazing parts we had coming off of the robo drill. Those were our Titan 532 medical parts that's gonna be going up on our academy. We had the entire automation process down from loading the part into our conveyor. You saw our LR Mate 200 ID doing some really cool orientations with the part, picking it up, loading it into the machine. It's time to show you guys how you can always always upgrade your automation process. And that's what we're doing with the CRX here. We have a EGP gripper from Shunk. It's a really nice collab gripper. That's what this ring around the outside symbolizes. You'll have green lights, red lights to let you know when the collaborative is safe. We're gonna click a button on the back of our pendant and this puts us into a free jog state, which is really cool with the CRX because I hit this button and I can move it however I want. And that's not something you'll see on all robots. So we get it into a position. And in reality, like I said, systems are always upgradable. You could have vision on this guy, so it'll always know where these parts are. But for our purposes, I just want to show you guys how easy it is just to do a pick and place. That's what we're doing, right, Correct. Matt? It's Absolutely. just a pick and place. Easy pick and place. I'm going to come down. And the other cool thing about this robot in particular is how we even write our programs. This isn't your standardized industry uh, way to program on a robot controller. This is really friendly. Everything is labeled in these boxes. It's almost like block coding, where all you do is drag and place, drag and place. And that's how you program all day long. And it's really refreshing. It's friendly for people that don't have to go through menus, right? Correct. You told me about yeah. that, that I don't have to go jumping yeah. around no trying need, to find things. <laughs> no need scrolling through menus or trying to find the right way to get there. So let's start a program. This is brand new. We're making it from scratch. We really want to get across to you guys how quickly you can do these things. We'll go to new. Name it Boom Bastic Test. Save that. But there's no really training that's needed. You can just pick it up and use it as is. So I just recorded this point. I'm gonna reclose cording the gripper so we can keep that there. Boom. I'm gonna let my robot know, hey, you have something in your hand. You need to know what the weight of that is. And we input that earlier today. Correct. Now, Matt, what I'm about to do right now, do you want to explain to them that this is the motion that you were discussing earlier? Yes, yes. So traditional robots normally have to rotate along axis J1 here to turn to work behind itself. Right now, this robot can just swing, which you call it the flip under motion, which saves cycle time. How easy is that to move? It's really easy. It's cool, too, because you can actually, I saw a lever on here that you can go from 0 to 100% and that changes how hard it is to move the robot. Yep. And so when I start getting in those finer areas, 
you drop it down and make it harder to move so it's more accurate. That's correct. Pretty cool. That's correct. We'll record that point. We're gonna go into our conveyor. We're gonna record that point. We're gonna tell our grippers that it's all right to open up. There it goes. And I just automated something that just a week ago I had to do by hand. I've only made three position points and then four other points for opening and closing my gripper. That's it. Do that same motion you were talking about. Correct. <laughs> and in reality, we would put this right back in place to get ready to pick up another blank. And this could run lights out 24 seven, just like the robo drill. Yeah, that's correct. How many years is it with, uh, with no maintenance? It's eight years maintenance free. Yeah. So you're not gonna have to touch it to do any kind of maintenance. Let's see it move. All right. And there it goes. <laughs> there you guys have it. There you go. <laughs> that is how you set up and run a pick and place on a CRX in five minutes. Five minutes. <laughs> this was the beat with Fanic. Make sure to stick around and look for the other videos. You guys missed something during Boobastic? Check our YouTube page. Look on Facebook, Instagram. We're going to be keeping you guys up to date with everything. Thanks again, Matt. Uh, thank you.